Beef is the culinary name which comes from especially cattle. Beef is a great source of protein and vitamin B12, a very good source of zinc and selenium. Also, beef is a good source of riboflavin, vitamin B6, niacin, iron, and phosphorus. Did you know that delicious, nutritious beef on the table is the result of various physical and chemical processes? Today, we will show you how beef is processed inside the factory. Welcome to Shad Kohor and if you are new then subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss out our any videos. Beef is transferred to the factory through the hydraulic transfer unit. The hooks are then cut with hand circular breaking saw machine. In beef processing line, the automated twin rail line carries beef to the dehiding station. Here the vertical downward dehiding is very common technique used. The advantage is that the skin on the clean beef remains free of contamination and that the front feet do not need to be fixed. The experienced workers carefully completed the removal of the skin with help of rolling machine from the beef, opening it as one piece so that it could be sold for leather goods manufacturing. The beef is then taken to the brisket opening a flat form. Here the chest is cut half of a brisket opening saw machine and axi. It is then taken to a pneumatic thrift extracting platform. There the pneumatic pulses are removed. The funces are simultaneously transported to the inspection on a conveyor belt. The funces are kept separately to prevent contamination. After this inspection, the funces are transported to pneumatic thrift waste transporter system. There, Garbage is extracted from the fluff. This garbage is used as organic fertilizer in the field. The beef is then taken to a liver extraction platform. The oxtail liver trip from the reticulum glands, heart and kidneys are removed there. These organs are sent via the conveyor belt to the veterinary control platform. For inspection if desired, a shower can wash off the organs. After this inspection, the trip can be transported to a processing area.
On the other hand, the beef is taken to the splitting station. There they remove the tail from the beef. And the beef is split into two parts with a very powerful splitting saw machine. Then they take it to the scale control room. There the twin rail overhead scale and laser system measures its weight and volume. This information is collected on a computer when the beef is transferred to the cooling room. The beef is tagged and hung in a large cooler where it will hang for about a week for aging in order to improve the flavor of the beef and make it tenderer. Aging allows enzymes to break down the meat. The process also allows the water in the meat to be evaporated thus concentrating the flavor. It is then taken to the deboning room. There they remove the bones from the beef. After removing the bone, the meat is loaded into a cover van and sent to the meat processing area. Now it's ready for labeling. The beef meat processing is beef cutting. The processor can cut beef according to the end beef products and the beef cuts can be handled in a variety of ways such as smoking, salting, pickling or ground for a hamburger or sausage. 